For this first one, I'll share with you how to create a water reflection in Photoshop. Okay, so for this effect, I have an image of a selected seagull and also I have a gradient background. To start, click Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate of the seagull. Now select the bottom layer and then click Ctrl plus T. Now right click the image and then click on flip vertical. Drag the image below the bed and then click enter. Come up to filter, click on distort and then select wave. Now I'm going to tweak these figures to create a water reflection effect. So you can copy the figures I have tweaked here and then after that you can click OK. Very good. Now come up to filter, down to blur and then click on motion blur. Now make sure the angle is at zero and then you can change the distance to a figure of your choice. I'm going to keep mine at 50 and then you can click OK. And there you have it, a beautiful water reflection created using Photoshop. For this next trick, I'll share with you how to transform an image into a sketch using Photoshop. Okay, so with this, first click Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate of your image. Click Ctrl plus Shift plus U to desaturate the image. Click Ctrl plus J again to create another duplicate. And then click Ctrl plus I to invert the image. Now come up to the blend modes and then change it to color dodge. And then come up to filter and then come down to stylize. And then click on find edges. Now come down and click on the new adjustment layer icon and then select levels. Now click on this icon to clip the levels adjustment layer to the layer below it. Now drag this lever towards the right. Drag it until you can see the lines. Yes, you can as well drag this to the left a little bit as well. And as you can see, we have a beautiful pencil sketch of our image. So this is before and this is after. Beautiful pencil sketch using Photoshop. Now let's talk about how to select our transparent objects using Photoshop. Okay, so first come up to select and then click on subject. This will make a nice selection around the subject. Now click Ctrl plus J to select it on a completely new layer. Now click Ctrl plus Shift plus U to desaturate the new selection. Click Ctrl plus Alt plus 2 to select the shadows and brightness in our ice cube. Now click Ctrl plus J again to make a selection of the transparent one on a completely new layer. Now when I turn off this layer and this layer, you realize our ice cube has become transparent. Let's create a solid color behind it. So come down to your new adjustment layers and then click on solid color. Now let's select a color and as you can see, our ice cube has become transparent and this is just awesome. Here is how to create a realistic light beam using Photoshop. Okay, so first come down and click on the new layer icon to create a new layer. Now come to your tools and then select the polygonal lasso tool and then create the selection which will contain your light beam. Come down to the new adjustment layer icon and then click on gradient. Make sure you have the gradient that goes from white to transparent. Click on reverse so that the white will go to the top and then click OK. Now right click and then convert your layer to a smart object. Come up to filter, down to blur gallery and then click on field blur. Put one point up here and then click here to create another point. Now select the top point and then make the blur a lesser amount. So now it looks okay and then select the second blur and then let's increase the blur amount. So increase it to a point that is satisfactory to you. So I'm going to keep the bottom one at 50 and then let's keep the top one at 12 and then click OK. Now come up here and then reduce the opacity to an amount of your choice. 50% looks like a very realistic light beam and there you have it, a beautiful light beam created in Photoshop. For this next one, I'll share with you how to extend background or backdrop using Photoshop. Okay, so with your image here, come to your tools and then select the lasso tool. Make a selection around your subject 
Now with your active selection, click Ctrl plus Shift plus I to invert the selection. Come up to edit and then come down and click on Content Aware Fill. Now with this brush to paint around the subject. And then let's wait for Content Aware Fill to do its magic. Okay, so as you can see, Content Aware Fill has extended the background beautifully. So just click OK and then click Ctrl plus D to remove the selection. And there you have it, the backdrop beautifully extended using Photoshop. Now, let me show you how to create a transparent text in Photoshop. Okay, so with this effect, first come up to select and then click on subject to make a selection around your subject. Now click Ctrl plus J to make a selection of our subject on a completely new layer. Now come down and click on the new adjustment layer icon to create a new layer. Come to your tools and then select the text tool. I'm going to type in the word fantasy. Click Ctrl plus J to make a copy of your text. Now come to the layer with the copied text, right click on it and then click on convert to shape. Select the layer with the first text we made and then drag it below the selection of our subject. Now select the copied text and then come to your tools and then select the shapes. Come up to fill and then click on this icon which means no fill. And then come to stroke and then change the color to color white. Now you can increase the size of the stroke and you realize it increases on our image. So 14.69 looks okay and then you can just click enter. And as you can see, the text looks transparent around where our subject is. You can hold Ctrl and then click both the text and the copy. And then when you click Ctrl plus T, you can move it anyhow you want. And you realize it always stays invisible where our subject is. Here is how to create light rays on a portrait using Photoshop. Okay, so with your image here, come down to the new adjustment layer and select levels drag the level down to make it darker come to your tools and then select the polygonal lasso tool click and create paths just as i'm doing right now now come to your new adjustment layer icon again and then click on levels again drag this lever towards the left so you can drag it to a value of your choice and then come up here and then click on the mask and then drag the feather to a value of your choice so i'm going to keep mine around 43 and then you can close it and there you have it beautiful light rays created on your portrait using photoshop now let me show you how to blend two images easily using photoshop okay so to blend two images together i have this beautiful image of a lady by a beach and this image of a bed now to blend these two images together we must rasterize them so right click on this image and then click on rasterize layer now hold shift and then select the background layer as well to select both of them now come up to edit and then come down and click on auto blend layers make sure stack images is checked and then make sure these two are also checked and then click ok and then click ok and there you have it your image beautifully blended together in just a few steps okay for this next one i'll share with you how to clone properly using photoshop okay so to do this come to your tools and then select the clone stamp tool now come up and click on windows and then select clone source select the flip horizontal and then holding or click on the point you want to sample and then come to where you want to apply and then paint over it and there you have it the eye beautifully cloned using photoshop in this video, I'm going to explain how you can create next level photos with dual tone double exposure effect in Photoshop. First off, click Ctrl plus Shift plus U to desaturate your image. Click Ctrl G to duplicate your layer. Come down to this FX icon and click Blending Options. Now uncheck the B and the J and click OK. Select the layer below and Come to blending options again. Now uncheck the R and click OK. Now select the top layer and click Ctrl T. Now right click and click flip horizontal. 
drag out your image to your preferred position. Now, create a mask for your bottom layer and select your brush tool and clean the sharp line here to make it blend with the image seamlessly. And that's it. You have your next level photo created and it's just awesome.